Hi guys, today I'd like to show you how to make this nice and simple bow. We'll need some yarn. I'm using Alizabella cotton yarn, needles, hook, yarn needle and scissors. First we will start with casting on 50 loops on our needles. If you want your bow to be smaller, you can cast on less loops. If you want it to be bigger, you can add more, more loops as well. For this specific bow, it doesn't matter how, a, how many loops are you going to cast on. It's all up to you. For casting on, I'm going to use a method that I really like and it's uh, more convenient for me. You can use other methods as well. So now I have 50 loops on my needles. Now I need to pull uh, one needle. That's going to be my work needle. And now we're going to be knitting our pattern. For this bow, we're going to use garter stitch pattern. And our first row will begin with slipping very first stitch on our working needle. So I'm just gonna go simply take this loop and put it on the other needle. Other loops are we gonna need in our garter stitch pattern. For that I'm gonna go inside of the loop, take the yarn and put it through on our work needle and I will continue till the very end. So I'm going inside the loop, grabbing yarn and putting on the other side. And we'll continue with the rest of our loops in this simple pattern. We're almost done with our first row and only one loop is left. And in this uh, very last uh, loop, we'll need uh, in a pearl stitch. So for that, I'm going to take my yarn and I'm going to put it in front. I'm going to go with my working needle inside the loop. I'm going to take my yarn further and grab the yarn from the front like that. And I'm going to pull it through and I can take this needle. So that's what we have. And now we're going to turn our knitting on the other side. Very first loop in every row will be slipping off. So we will slipping off it without knitting on the working needle. And second row and other ones uh, will knit in the same garter stitch pattern. So I'm go inside the loop, grabbing my yarn and putting it through like that. And we have to continue with the same pattern for 22 rows. So overall, we'll need 22 rows in garter stitch pattern. Every last stitch in every row uh, will be knitting in pearl stitches. So now we've knitted two rows in garter stitch pattern 
and I'm going to show you one more time what we do with our last stitch. So when we have last stitch on our needle, we want to, to knit it in purl stitch. So I'm putting um, in front my yarn. I'm going to go in inside my loop, taking yarn and pulling it through. And we'll continue the same way, 20 more rows. So overall, we'll have 22 rows. Our 22 rows of a garter uh, stitching pattern are done. And now it's time to uh, cast off our loops. So now we're gonna cast off our loops. You can cast off however you like. It doesn't matter which method you're gonna use. I'm gonna show you how I'm doing that. So on my work needle, I'm gonna slip very first loop. I'm gonna need the second loop. I'm gonna need it in the garter stitching method. I'm gonna put those two loops back on the left needle and I'm gonna pull second loop through the first one. And I'm gonna continue doing that till the end. So I'm gonna knit the next loop. I'm gonna put it back, both of them put it back on the left needle and pull the second loop through the first one. Like that. And again, I'm gonna need my next loop. Put it back on the left side and pull it through. So that's what we get. Really nice and straight clothing. Our last stitch I will purl. So we're gonna take our yarn and put it in front of our left needle. We're gonna go inside our last loop, take the yarn and pull it through. We'll put our two loops back on the left side and we'll put our last stitch through the one that left. So now it's time uh, to cut our yarn, but we need to leave a long end of our yarn. And now I'm gonna pull our long end of the yarn through the loop. Now we need our needle and we need a long end of our yarn. And we'll be closing our work. So we'll be joining it right here together. So we joined our ends and that's what we have now. We're not gonna cut our end of the yarn, but we're gonna leave it aside with our needle. Now we need two markers. I'm gonna use bobby pins as the markers. First one, I need to use on one side and another one on another side. So for what I need it. On this side, it's really easy to find our needle. On the other side, we don't see exactly where is our needle, but I can find it easily like that. 
and I'm gonna put uh, my bobby pin here so it's gonna be middle of my other side and I'm gonna use it here as a marker for the middle on the other side We need our yarn again, and this time we need our hook. We need to crochet reverse single crochet stitch on both sides of our bow. And we'll start in the middle and we'll go um, against the clock from the left side to the right one and we'll crochet one row here of reverse single crochet stitch. We'll start with our yarn and I'm just gonna make one stitch, one crochet or one loop. So I have it here. We don't need to leave a long end of the yarn. I'm gonna take my knitting and I'm gonna go in the middle, right in the middle, right here. And I'm gonna pull my loop. Now I'm gonna make another loop right here. And we're gonna start our reverse single crochet stitch. So we'll go from the left side to the right side. It's gonna be reverse because usually we go in from the right side to the left one. And here in the middle, we're not gonna be crocheting in every stitch that we see here. We'll miss one stitch. We'll miss one stitch. We're gonna miss this stitch and we'll crochet in the next one. So I'm going in one stitch, I'm going to take yarn, I'm going to pull it through and I'm going to finish my crochet, single crochet. And one more time, I'm going to miss another stitch right here. And I'm gonna go with my hook in the next one. I'm gonna go in a stitch, grab a yarn, pull it through. I have two loops right now. I'm gonna grab a yarn again and I'm gonna finish my single stitch. And I'm gonna do it one more time. I'm gonna miss one stitch here and I'm gonna go right in the next one. Grab yarn. Pull it through. And finish my single crochet. From now on, I'll be making one single crochet in every stitch till I'll get closer to my marker on the other side, till I go to this marker. So now I'm close to my marker and I have exactly six stitchers till my marker. So why I need it? Because I wanna uh, make three reverse single crochet here as well. And I wanna miss three crochets as well. So I'm gonna do the same way as we did in the beginning. I'm gonna skip next uh, stitch and I'm gonna go inside the other one here. And I'm gonna make single crochet. 
again I'm gonna miss this one and I'm gonna go inside the other one now I need to take my marker off So I did three uh, reverse single crochet this way, skipping one stitch and doing the other one. On the other side, I have to do the same. So I have to do another three single crochet, skipping one stitch. So that's done as well. Now I'm gonna continue with my reverse single crochet stitching till the middle until it's gonna be six stitches left. So now I have six stitches left and I have to make only uh, three reverse single crochet. I'm skipping one stitch, going to another one and making stitch. Again, I'm skipping one and the same way for this one. That's gonna be our very last one. Now we can close our needle. So I'm gonna pull my loop on the other side here. And I'm gonna cut my yarn. And we'll pull our yarn on the other side. That's what we have on this side. And we have to make reverse single crochet stitching on the opposite side as well. So again, we're going to take our yarn and make a loop. We'll go to the middle of our knitting here. Don't worry, we'll take care of this yarn a little later. Again, I put it here. We'll make one stitch. So now we'll skip one stitch and we'll go in the next one and we'll do this uh, three times. Now we'll be crocheting reverse single crochet stitch in every stitch that we see till we go close to our needle and basically till we have only six stitches left. Reverse single crochet stitching are done in every stitch that we have. Now we have to make three reverse single crochet but skipping one stitch. So we're gonna skip this stitch and we'll go in the next one. Again, we'll skip this one and we'll go to the next one. Okay. 
Now we can take our marker and again we'll skip this loop, this stitch and we'll go to the next one. And now on the other side, so we have to make again three stitches skipping one stitch. So three crochet skipping one stitch. So we'll skip in this one, go into the next one here. Again, we skip in this one, go into the next one here. And the last one, we skip in this one, go into the next one. Be done from for this side. Now we have to make single crochet in every single stitch. So now we have to make three reverse single crochet stitches, skipping one stitch. So now it's time to put our loop on the other side and cut the yarn. We'll turn our knitting on the other side and take care of all uh, yarn ends that we don't need. So now we have our bow, a long uh, end of the yarn with the needle attached that we put aside before. Now we need to uh, attach our two sides of the bow and we just simply gonna sew it together. We have our yarn in the middle, so make sure our yarn is in the middle right here. So we're going to put it right here, right in the middle. And we're just going to sew it together. And we're not going to be uh, putting stitches really close one to another. So I'm going to go through both sides right here. Pull it through. On the other side. I'm gonna go here, so not really close one to another. I'm gonna be right in the middle on the other side. And now we're gonna tie it. make it really tight. So now when you sew together uh, the sides of your bow, you can just make a knot here so that's gonna stay that way. Make sure to tighten it on the middle of your bow. So that's what we have for now. And this is the time when you're gonna shape your bow the way you like. You can pick the side you like better depending on how tight it is and uh, what you like better. 
and with the long end uh, of our yarn we'll just make a little nice our middle if you feel like you need to add more yarn you can definitely do that And now we can hide our end of the yarn and I'm gonna use my needle for that. that's the bow that we have. You can shape it the way you like. And you can use it for accessory such as hair clips, hair bands, headbands or any other ones. Mm -hmm. 